profile Switzerland in the UN over the past five years uh, on some key issues which come out of our tradition as a neutral European country and what are those issues which we tried to bring uh, in, into global affairs and into the UN over the past years. Uh, let me just uh, mention a, a few one. We have worked a lot over the past five years on what I call human security and mediation issues. What is human security? It goes from the analysis that, that in today's conflict uh, the biggest challenge is mainly not the protection of state and borders and institutions and, and uh, territories against uh, new threats, but it's the protection of people against new forms of violence. Uh, most of the people killed in conflicts today are killed by small arms, uh, are killed by mines, are killed by irregular groups, and not necessarily by big armies invading territories. We, have, we are confronted with a new pattern of conflict. So our conclusion, if we want to remain a credible actor on an international and global level, uh, based in, in our tradition of humanitarianism and humanitarian policy, it would be good to look at what kills people today and then to see what kind of policy do we need its mines, its small arms as direct consequences uh, of war and, and conflict, its health, its, uh, uh, its water. So we have considered the emerging human security agenda and we have it as an important feature with which we wanted to bring onto the UN agenda. And we have invested quite heavily in the creation of institutions, programs, activities at the UN with regard to human security. We had, uh, just to mention a second example, we had a lot of public debate on the Security Council and the undemocratic nature of the Security Council about the fact that five members are permanently there and take decisions on behalf of the membership without being accountable to the membership, but to which the membership would be bound. And in our public debate, this was the single, single most important issue which almost uh, made the boat sink and made us lose our vote towards uh, membership of the United Nations. So the government in the public debate promised that it would engage towards more transparency of the Security Council. So over the past five years, together with similar countries, actually with Costa Rica, Jordan, Singapore and Liechtenstein, we regularly made proposals for improved working methods, transparency, accountability of the Security Council. We tabled resolutions, we pressed the Security Council to make their debates public, to make their, uh, their accounts public, to, to give reasons for what they are doing, to, go, uh, to get away with secret diplomacy. The, the success, of course, is limited because the P5, uh, if they disagree on most uh, uh, issues today in the world, they would probably agree in defending together the privileges of permanent members of the Council. So we were confronted with heavy attacks and, uh, uh, and opposition from the P5 and nevertheless the membership as a large uh, stood behind those proposals for more transparency and, uh, and accountability. And, and with the broad membership, uh, we could achieve some modest progress in injecting uh, more transparency to, to the Council. We have worked a lot on environmental issues over the past five years. Uh, environment and climate change uh, are not only, haven't been issues only for the past year or two years in my country. Uh, we are a mountain country with exposed uh, natural environments. We were amongst the first ones suffering the consequences of global warming and climate change in the mountains uh, when 
glaciers melted and uh, soil eroded. So the sensitivities for environmental issues has grown for the last, over the last 20 years. And the whole hype about climate change and uh, environmental issues uh, started much earlier in our country than it arrived at the United Nations. But we arrived at the United Nations when environment became an important issue. So uh, we engaged a lot in proposals uh, for on the climate change ag agenda, on, on trying uh, to, to agree on targets and, uh, and timelines for the reduction of CO2 emissions, in trying to find new ways in generating money and resources in order to support developing countries in their effort uh, to make their economies more sustainable. Uh, we made proposal on environmental governance and I, I'm actually co-chairing at the present moment in the United Nations a group of the General Assembly looking into the reform of the environmental governance system. We have of course worked a lot on, on humanitarian and human rights issues. Uh, here again the fact that our population looks critically to every Swiss franc spent in the institution brought us on clear reef on a strong focus on a reform agenda and trying to reform UN institutions the human rights commission uh, we have been very active in making proposals for the new human rights council we have been very active for the coordination of humanitarian affairs at the UN and we invest heavily in strengthening the UN and its role as a coordinator for humanitarian affairs. We are a country uh, which, uh, as Ahmad Kamal delicately said, which has a, he could have said we have a very weak government because uh, if we had a strong government, people would know who governs them. So uh, <laughs> we probably have a weak government because, as he rightly said, this is a country where every individual citizen thinks that he is his own government. So this makes as a whole weak government, but it makes a society which builds and has strong links to civil society and to partnership. I think the fabric under which we are, have been created is one of partnership between the state and business community, civil society, the science community. Uh, partnerships are close to our hearts. So we brought our partnership agenda to the United Nations. We are very keen to push what is the Global Compact, a uh, set of principles with which the Secretary General tries to engage the business community to help pursue the objectives of the United Nations. Switzerland is among the five major countries supporting the Global Compact. We have engaged a lot and our former president of ours has been the special advisor of the Secretary General on sport development and peace. We think that uh, the UN cannot just be the place where governments talk to each other. It has also to be the place where governments talk to the business community, to the sports community, to the research and science community. So we pushed the agenda of sport within the United Nations and and building up partnership between the UN, the International Olympic Committee, uh, national sports and international sports associations. And the same uh, for science partnerships. And as I got an invitation from Ahmad Kamal, uh, it reminded me that uh, uh, I'm his successor in the working group on informatics, uh, chairing the working group on informatics. Uh, it sounds uh, like something terribly technical, but uh, I mean, you know better than many of my colleagues at the UN know that information technologies today are of strategic importance for the orientation of an organization, for your own profile, for your own work as a country, but also for the United Nations. So 
as Switzerland, we engage a lot and we are quite a lonely crowd of uh, a handful of countries for a rapid modernization and information technology equipment of the UN, supporting uh, delegations from all countries in getting the right equipment, having the UN uh, beefing up their capacities and capabilities.